being joined right now by the musical president of Warbice and the one and only Ochami Kwame, who you just saw his video. Now, it's been two years since Obwa was elected as the musica president, and that is the music, Musicians Union of Ghana Association umbrella for all the musicians in the country. And um, we want to see what the ups and downs have been of musica. Have they been chopping the money, or have they been put into good use? Now, Naba actually wants to know, first and foremost, um, President, Mr. President, let's say. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who you Okay. I'm okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, the one and only, Ochame. How are you? Ochao. You look stunning. Thank you very much. It's because, it's because you both were coming. That's yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, what about me? Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll get to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll get to you. I'm pro bono law, lawyer. Yeah, for music. Where, who you are you to all the money? You have two million pro bono, uh, Ghana cities. Pro bono, so you want pro bono. Pro bono lawyer. No, okay. Industry friend, partnership. <laughs> you sign the contract chop him off soon. That two million. Well, Nanaba just raised a good point when, when the music was um, was being played. That two years ago, um, music. Well, no, actually, the creative arts were, were, were awarded two million Ghana cities, and it was handed over to music. Um, I'm What's in the creative arts. The I didn't. I didn't see any of that money. <laughs> Okay, so what, 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 what what, how was that money spent? A good, a good spot to begin this isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Look, it looks like two million. We'll never stop talking about of it, even not. though, even though it's two years back. We, we're going forward. We are moving forward, but <laughs> we will discuss forward. the two million. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, the Musicians Union of Ghana, which I head as the president, which are Chairman Kwame as the public relations officer, uh, have been on a strong journey. It's been two years, as you rightly said, since this new administration took office, and. Uh, Part of the things we've been doing has been repositioning the, the organization so as to gain the trust of corporate Ghana, gain the trust of the state, uh, gain the trust of the individual musicians who are members, and of course the general public uh, as well. Uh, among the things we've been able to do is being able to position ourselves to attract government funding. Uh, in 2011, uh, when they read the budget, there was a budget allocation for the creative arts industry that was uh, given to the music industry. I mean, the creative arts industry has different domains. Yeah, so it has the fashion, the food, media. So government, as an, a starter to interface with the creative arts industry, partnered the music industry, which uh, music was the organization that was the beneficiary of the initial grant, uh, which was for it was for thematic programs. It was for a research on the on the on the contribution of the music industry to. Ghana's GDP. Did you get consultants? Yeah, yeah it's you got consultants. The okay, consultants we're doing about consultants this. About it yeah, anyway. KPMG is doing it. <laughs> I think the, fin okay. the okay. final report is coming out end of October. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, so we engaged KPMG before the state even engaged That's KPMG. Right. And then so, I'm uh, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but what kind of research and where is it? Okay, so uh, what KPMG is doing is a comprehensive study of the music industry. First and foremost, they need to identify what kind of employment does the music industry do? How many heads does the music industry employ? Um, do, are they paying their taxes? If they are, what is the quantum of the taxes are that they, they are paying? Are they paying their taxes? If they, so that's why the research is, 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 is being is being affected. Uh, what other byproducts Impact survive? Assessment. Yeah, what other byproducts survive on the music industry? So concerts, hotels, uh, bars, restaurants, what quantum of their revenue is generated because they play music. Okay. Uh, airlines, you know. So it's a, it's a comprehensive study. And when uh, are we expecting? The final, the, like That's I right. said, the report is coming at the end of October. KPMG will be, will, be, will be doing a validation seminar to validate that report. Okay. And then aside that, we also had to do the Ghana Music Week, which we, we did in 2013. We had the Ghana Music Week. And, you know, and then we had to embark on a peace campaign before the election. So these were the thematic areas that government supported the industry as a starter. And I hope you are aware that this year, again, when they read the budget, uh, another amount has been allocated for the industry, which is the, about $3 million for the creative arts industry. Okay. Um, Ochame, as the PR of the Musica umbrella organization, um, how have you handled... There's been a lot of negative, I guess, publicity aimed at Musica since the board took, took over. How, how have you handled that? Or how wow. are you handling it? Wow. Um, yeah, I believe that uh, the PR is content-based, not reactive-based. So um, the, the, the communications team is not just me. It's about five of us. The communication team aims at um, 
making sure that the negative publicity do not come in the first place. And our major responsibility is to be a part of strategy that makes sure that almost everything that um, was promised has been delivered or at least is underway of its delivery. And we believe that, let's say, uh, uh, Obo spoke about accountability. Mm -hmm. He spoke about um, jobs. about jobs for musicians. So all those things, the PR well, yeah. department is to make sure that even if um, we are not seeing the fruition of it, at least it begins. And then as it begins, um, whatever it is, that the, all the negative things that uh, other people will come up because you understand that um, it's a democratic process. We go um, every four years, we vote, and then after voting, like MPP and DCCPP, the um, what do you call it? The, the people on the other side, yeah, opposition. the opposition <laughs> will definitely go on radio mm -hmm. and raise their concerns about things they do not like about it. But the most important thing that the PR does is that we make sure that the things that we promise to deliver, we are delivering. On the other hand, we also have a little strategy for the opposition. Um, when they come on radio and they say the things that are negative about us, you know, man actually had to go to the moon to discover the earth. So when people say things about you, you don't always think that because it is opposition, you throw them away. We listen to it. We take the good advices that we find from it. We act on it if it's necessary. We hold a press conference. If it is not, we do a press release. And sometimes we even go out to radio stations like we have come here to discuss the apps and We're the downs. We're not a radio station. <laughs> like, like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> to like radio like, we, yeah, we go out to, uh, and engage the media. And we, we, we put our ideas across because, like he said, the major thing we are doing is the rebranding agenda, repositioning music so that our stakeholder man management will be spot on. So we have come here to make sure that the government, the fans, the musicians themselves, corporate bodies, everybody knows where the vision is so that they can buy into it and then we go. So that's the responsibility of the PR team. Okay, so Ochame, um, how are you able to effectively balance being PR for the association and also you know, not pushing your, uh, your brand okay. and your music? And honestly. You're first and foremost, the musician. You're yes, artist. yes, honestly. Um, as I, I keep telling him, the issue of being a part of the music administration is really a difficult thing. And unless you are in it to make sure you win it, you can't do it. Um, what, what I do is that, yes, I'm an artist, but I've been an artist for 15 years. And then what? A chairman can rap, a chairman can sing, shoot good videos, and then what? The, I believe that the quality of life is measured in donation, not duration. So if I've been an artist and I have some experiences and I've been blessed with the, uh, with the gift of the gap. Clap for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been blessed with the opportunity to speak and think and strategize and also go to school. I believe that, yes, it's difficult, um, but that's what I should do. So, so I do it. There is no conflict of interest whatsoever. There is, or there are conflicts of interest, but yeah, the, being a musical PRO is as equally important as the Wachame Kwame brand okay. because I believe that 50 years from now, who would care if you could rap? But if you were a part of the team that strategized and came up with policies that mm. helps your great-grandchildren, then your life is worth something. Okay, how have you guys been um, tackling such, I mean, the big issue within, especially music is piracy. We know there's payola. Um, and also getting royalties. Okay. Most musicians want to get paid for the music that's being played. How are you guys handling that? I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to zoom in into this, uh, but um, let me just add a bit on the PR issue. Um, the nature of our job, we have immediate access to the media. You know, so unlike other organizations that you don't really hear stuff going on in, in the music industry, any mu if it's just about him not seeing his car pack, he can just go into the media and talk. So many people who hear stuff of music and music in the media, I mean, we, we really want them to understand that it's not like that, uh, but it's just that musicians have access to the media. So they would, they would, they would always put their stuff there. Uh, keen in our planning... It's, uh, you mentioned about royalties. Royalties is, is a key revenue generator for musicians. And uh, within the Ghana ambit, there's an organization that is set to distribute royalties for musicians. Uh, in Ghana, we call it the Ghana Music Rights Organization, uh, which, uh, as a president of Music I serve on the board, it's a new it's body. New. How it's, new? It's, it's almost, almost two years. 
Um, is, it, is it being effective so It's far? effective. I mean, so far they've had three distributions of royalties. Okay. But of course, as an organization, it has its own challenges. Uh, but I, we believe strongly that together in the industry, we can forge ahead and make it work. As far as piracy is concerned, piracy as an issue is something that a country like Ghana, we, we, we are faced with enforcement challenges. So we have the best laws. Our law is very strong. It's firm when it has to deal with pirates. But enforcing the law, this issue is, is not just limited to our industry. I mean, when somebody's infringing on your rights, intellectual property rights, you don't get that needed support from, from the state institutions like the police, the customs, you know. So all that must happen. And there's the copyright office that is supposed to be the machinery that co connects with the industry for us to battle these challenges. But is it well resourced? Is it there yet? You know, so those are the challenges that still exist in the industry. But we keep fa facing it. But strictly as a union, uh, one of our key aims which is a challenge, is getting fair wages for our membership. I mean... Uh, when you say fair wages, is it meaning like if you go to a concert, there's like a set thing for you to be paid or just for your members um, within how much they get paid for, for being part of music? Uh? Yeah, no, for, for me when members go for concerts, okay. when members go for engagements, when they go for any form of performances. Uh, till today, you still have bands performing at hotels that are being paid. 200 Ghana cities for a band, wow. you know, and uh, these are key challenges for us as an industry, as a regulator of the industry, as, as a music union. And so we keep entering into collective agreements, collective negotiation, collective bargaining with a lot of organizations that employ musicians. I mean, being able to arrive at that conclusion where people will respect that the same way an accountant picks his bag and goes to work pens down and expects to be paid at the end of the month or expects to be paid for their service. It's the same with that guy who comes to Golden Tulip to play the keyboard in the evening, every once in a week, must be paid. That person is that's his job. You know, so that is one of the one of the key things that we we keep advocating on. And also pursuing. to add to um, the issue of how we deal with um, copyrights and royalty issues, we understand that it's really difficult. But what we tell our members is to change our shapes. There are so many other, if you, you are not allowed to go through the door and you must get inside the room, you should use the window. So our strategy now is that people should take advantage of technology, social media, Facebook, um, iTunes, Amazon. We should take advantage of everything that is there, that is especially that you can control as an artist or with your management. And if it happens like that, the little revenues you get from color back ringtones and mm. that will be able to compensate for the lack of the royalties that you should be making. From you know, music. so yes. So we, we don't only sit down and wait for the police to go and catch people um, downloading our music and pirating our music at circle. We also <laughs> tell our members to evolve and get with the system. What about the old musicians? What are you doing to help them? Are you catering to them? Yeah. Uh, one of uh, our key initiatives when we, we came into office was to establish a welfare uh, system for the aged musicians. And uh, this year we launched the Aging Musicians Welfare Fund. It's a special fund that uh, gives benevolent support to musicians who are in need, especially musicians who are 60 years and above. You know, and uh, what the fund does is um, it employs creative ways to raise money. Uh, I mean, very soon, I'm sure our, our fundraising team will be targeting TV3 soon because TV3, <laughs> TV3 plays a lot it's of It's big, music. it's big, it's big. You know? So we, we find creative ways. <laughs> Another alone can pay for all. <laughs> we find creative rich. ways, Beautiful. creative rich. partnerships to raise money into the kitty of the fund. The fund is invested, and then every year there is benevolence. So people, I mean, old musicians who have contributed to the industry, who are members of Musica, okay. some are who are not members of Musica, but who can who can prove it and then once they become they register them onto the onto the fund and then they get support this fund is going to register all the old musicians on nhis uh, those who have health challenges the fund once they apply to it, the fund can help them with their health needs you know so it's a special fund that has been set up specifically to cater for the needs of the agent and it's one of the things that we, we we've been we've and been also in connection with um making sure that the old or the older musicians also get with the new evolution of technology we have a business development um, department at music um, which is being headed by rexoma that wow. is all there 24 7 to assist 
um, musicians who are not in quote unquote trendy, the Facebook, the Twitter way, to also understand how the systems work. So okay. if you're a musician and you are a member in good holding, in good standing, you in can good standing. in good okay. standing, you can uh, and you have issues with technology, uh, how you should you should package yourself the head office or any other musical office is there 24 7. okay no, well, our time is almost hours. up <laughs> our time is almost up but um just to kind of end you have two years left so yes. your middle midterm right now very short answer how do you think you've fared so far uh i think i think we've done pretty well uh the things that we promised musicians that we're going to do uh, many if not done are on the way i mean um key among them is um financing for music projects we've been able to enter into a deal with a with a savings and loans firm that gives loans to musicians who want to apply their trade and, and musicians who want to organize concerts midland savings and loans is doing it for i mean farm and bonafide members who need that kind of support and you I, gave out a card this year the, for the artist of the year yes, yes. Yeah, the artist awesome. of the year we promised that we would strengthen our relationship with Ghana Music Awards, which we are doing. Uh, we spoke about education, which was a key thing in the industry. I mean, the industry suffers from getting the right people to assist talent for talent to grow, to bloom. And uh, we've entered into a partnership with NAFTI, where we are now going to all, all, all do certified programs, diploma programs, degree programs in music production. Uh, we have Music Academy. I mean, so these are key things. Plenty that, things. That, that okay. We, we, we well, last question, because our time is definitely up. Why are you guys not wearing musical T-shirts? Or because I see you, I won't even <laughs> mention the brand you're wearing. Uh, At least you're repping rep African, African. Print. Right. So Why didn't you come in there repping like Afropolitan? Ah, uh, well, because you know, you know how I do with Africa. Actually, I'm going, I'm going to the gym from here. So you, you can't. <laughs> 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 you're sad. You're no, fine. no, 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 no. No, no, He's still got swag. Exactly. Oh, the, 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 PR, the PR is making sure music guy is positioned well. That I don't think that wearing of t-shirts will will make a difference. Plus, they know we are there in your hearts. <laughs> All right, cool. The Thank faces you. are the best. Exactly. Please, next time, don't do that. We okay. don't like the African prince. That's why you're the president. Yes. PR. No, next pa time. Thomas African prince is in the sky. Exactly. After the gym. Yeah. You're forgiven. Thank you guys so much. Okay, of course, Obor Vice and Ochame Kwame.